Hello, my name is Lindsay Allen. I'm one of the group program manager at Microsoft Database Systems. Hi, I'm Murato Strand. I'm the group program manager for data migrations. So in this video, next 10 minutes or so, we're going to talk about Azure SQL Database and the migration to Azure SQL Database. Mm -hmm. So Azure SQL Database is the only public cloud database service that can learn and adapt based on your unique patterns of your applications and can scale on the fly without a downtime and can, make you, uh, can support you to build multi-tenancy application at ease and had built-in security intelligence to help protect your data and does work very well with your environment as well, with your on-prem and wherever your application deploys to. Yes, and this is very exciting for a new application, but also you can migrate and upgrade your existing SQL servers to Azure SQL database. Yeah, so you can actually deploy your application against a SQL database on-premise, and we have a tools. Yes, you're going have, to show us to yes, move I'll, your Yes, I'll be showing the tools for you. Yep. And uh, one of the things when you are moving the uh, upgrades and migrations is the methodology that goes with it. Sure. So um, it's very the, the important that you define and and plan and change the necessary things and remediate. Um, then uh, migrate, test the system, mm -hmm. then finally deploy it. Uh -huh. And uh, we do have tools for it that you can easily download from the internet. And I'll show you how to do this very easily. And the, the tool is, is built with the real world process of a migrating yes. application, redeploy re uh, application in mind. It's end to end. Yes, it's an end to end tool that moves your data from existing SQL servers to Azure Database or a newer version of uh, SQL, uh, SQL Server. Great. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Here's the demo. So let's look at this. Um, this is a data migration assistant. Let me launch it and I get the full screen up there. And let me create a, first a new project for assessment. So let's call this thing Data Amp Assessment. And we create an Azure SQL database from SQL Server. And we go in there and, and run for check databases in there. So server name, we put it as a SQL 2008 server that we have that we are going to migrate to SQL 2016. You connect to the server, and you get an inventory database that you can. You add that server, then you start seeing the databases in it. So assessment goes into place, and it starts running with it. It goes to all the different checks. So what happens is you see the Windows Authenticator is not supported. Unsupported features from one version to another. As you would imagine, you may have also some compatibility issues with compact uh, levels. So you have a very detailed information for each one of the errors that you get in there. For example, compatibility 100, you got migration blockers, uh, behavior changes and deprecated features. So let's look at the DBCC command that uh, is being replicated and no longer works the way it was in the previous version. So you do only not see the details, what's the impact of this feature in there, but you actually see the procedures that is involved all the way to the line and column level. So it's very easy to identify and for you to go in there and change it. And uh, different things, for example, you can look at unqualified uh, joins. It's a new way, new behavior. So it gives you the details how to do it. Then it, again, gives you line and column numbers. So for you to easily to identify in there. Deprecated data types, for example, text, image, and then text. What do you need to do and what's the impact to it? So you can export it as a, a JSON or CSV file to be able to hand it over all this information to your developers for it to be changed. Then let's go and actually do the migration. So for migration, you create another project and you choose SQL Server, let's say DataAmp migrations, target server you identify as a SQL Server, and you connect to your both servers. First, SQL 2008, R2, 
Then SQL 2016, which is your target machine. Then you go next. And it basically tells you where it's going to take a backup. So you need to find a share that both of them uh, um, access, both of the databases can access. And you have an alternative, you, will, you may be able to want to change it. Then you say, these are the logins that I would like to migrate as well from the object's perspective. Then you say, start migrations. So what it does in the background, basically, it changes and it goes and looks at all the server objects and start migrating them. It takes a backup from the previous version and restores it in SQL 2016. And this is how DEA works. And it's a very simple user interface and uh, it works very efficiently. You showed us how to move my database from one place to another to Azure SQL database. Yes. So how would I know my applications still work well? So we have a little tool for that as well. It's called Data Experimentation Assistant. Uh -huh. This is an A-B testing of two separate SQL Server instances uh -huh. that you can replay your existing workloads mm -hmm. and see if it's working and is it performing better or, or, or worse than before. Or oh, actually still work well, right? Yes, it will work yeah. well and, and, and we'll, we'll show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. So what you do, your existing environment, you capture the, the analytics in there, then uh, you replay it in two separate environments. One, the existing system, the other one is the, um, is the new environment. Mm -hmm. Uh, then you put the data in an analytics environment, mm -hmm. then you get a report for it with charts and details. Uh, oh, let to me actually tell you how the application, the same workload performs, right? Yes. In each environment. That's yes. awesome. So let me show you how, how that works. So for data experimentation assistant, we launched the data experimentation. Let me put it as a full screen. So you can connect to existing environment, let's new capture, and you, ex you connect to your existing environment and start capturing. And you decide how long you're going to capture. You would like to choose some time that majority of the applications accesses to all different things. Now, we choose 180 minutes, and it's going to have a, 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 a shares that is going to capture. But any good cooked place, you can replay it as well. So you capture the traces, that you can replay in your two target machines, okay? Like any good cook show, I have the analysis is already done. We are not gonna wait three hours for it. So let me connect to the SQL 2016 that's made that uh, analysis in there and, and look at the report. When you open, a, when you get in the end of the things, the results, you get a chart. So this is the interface that you're gonna see. The threshold, SQL 2008 source, SQL 2016, then you look at the degraded queries in there. Let's sort it out from top to bottom. The most degraded uh, queries out there. And you get all the information in there. One of the reasons, probably in previous version, you optimize it so much to that engine that uh, you might have to change stuff. So you get the metrics, you get the execution plans. So you got all the details on that specific query and what is being put in there. For both in target one and target two, and be able to compare it and see what do you need to do to get a better performance from the new system and how to optimize it. One of the other features is important is errors. So you didn't have a certain errors before, there's the new errors created. So you look at it, what went wrong? So you can look at the error information, this specific query didn't work. And uh, in, in, if you look at the error information, you're going to see that uh, there's a keyword next to the uh, compute that that's not going to work. It's generated an error. So you can go back and, and check and correct those errors before you deploy your system. So it gives you more details on each query and each error information. So you can go down even further and see each valid objects, uh, different interfaces that's happening in target one and target two, and be able to get the analysis uh, in there. So this is a very good user interface to be able to do the actual A-B testing and see the results in a very graphical and easy to understand methods. So we just saw the demo and how to easily 
move your application data from on-prem to Azure, mm -hmm. to Azure SQL database, and also have this very nice tool to help you A-B test your application. Yes, and those tools are, are free for you to download. So I would like you to actually give it a try, and there's a free trial of Azure SQL databases, and all of these, both of these tools are available on internet for free download. So just give it a try, and you will like it. Yes. Data Migration Assistant and Data Experimentation Assistant, they're both for you to facilitate your migrations and make your life easier. Thank you. Thank you.